Good afternoon everyone, Ip Malik and my new video are with you again. Today I will tell you how to install a second Windows on your computer or laptop. If you have Windows 10 installed, you can also install Windows 11 and use each of these systems of your choice. And if you have Windows 11 installed, you can install Windows 10 without any problems using the same method. It is not difficult to do this at all, follow me, repeat all the steps from the video and you will succeed. And so, before starting the process, you need to look at the system requirements of Windows 11 and correlate with the capabilities of your computer or laptop. You can also test your computer using a special application to find out if your computer settings are suitable for Windows 11. Links to the download page of the application and information about the system requirements of Windows 11 are in the description of the video. I will open this PC. And here you can see that there is enough free space on my C drive and today I will show you how to create a new partition on the C drive in Windows 10. In Windows 11 all the steps will be exactly the same. Installing the second Windows will consist of two stages. Stage 1, creating a new partition on drive C for the second Windows. And so, right click on the button, start. And here find disk management. In this window we see a disk with small partitions for system files and in the center is my C drive. Right click and choose shrink volume. In this window we see the total disk size, then the available space to allocate for the second windows. Here we need to specify the partition size for the second windows. In this window everything is indicated in megabytes. Of course, you will have different numbers, since the Windows disk on your computer is probably a different size than mine, but you already know that for Windows 11 you need to allocate at least 64 GB and therefore make the size of the new partition of your choice. You can change this size by clicking on these buttons on the right, or completely delete everything here, and write the number of MB you need. I allocate 90,000 MB for Windows 11, that is, 90 GB. Here we see what the size of disk C will be after the compression process. I have everything ready and I click, shrink. The process is over and now we see that next to drive C I have another partition. Its size is not 90 gigabytes, but in order not to make the video too long, I will not explain the details. For me the main thing here is that this size will be quite enough for comfortable work Windows 11. Here we also see that the C drive has become 144 gigabytes. I reload the this PC window, and now we see the same size of the C drive. Before proceeding, you need to remember the size of the new partition for Windows 11, or it's better to take a screenshot or write down the size of the partition on a piece of paper, this will help you to decide in the future on which partition you need to install the second Windows. Stage 2. Create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 11. Connect a clean USB flash drive with a memory size of at least 8GB to your computer. If there is data on your flash drive, transfer it to another location, as this flash drive will be formatted. And so, we begin. Open your browser and in search right, download Windows 11. Or open the video description. And click the link to the Windows 11 download page. In this window, you need to download a special application to your computer, Media Creation Tool, which will create a bootable Windows 11 USB drive. You can see the details on the same page. Now you need to click, here, and the application is downloaded to your computer. The browser can be closed, I open the Explorer, then the Downloads folder, and run the application as an administrator. Here you need to accept the license terms. The application has determined the parameters of your computer and can continue creating a bootable USB flash drive by default. But in this window you can uncheck the box and set any other language for Windows 11. I leave English. Windows 11 is now only 64-bit, and we cannot choose a 32-bit operating system here, as we did before with Windows 10 or Windows 8. Next. 
In this window, we can download the Windows 11 ISO file to the computer, so that later we can create a bootable USB flash drive using another program. I choose to create a bootable Windows 11 flash drive using the Media Creation tool. Next. In this window, we see our USB flash drive for creating bootable media, I click, Next, and the creation of bootable Windows 11 media has begun. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can continue to work on the computer, or just relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The process of creating a bootable Windows 11 flash drive is completed, click, Finish. And now let's open this computer and see what's with our flash drive. Yes, all Windows 11 files are on the flash drive and now you can start installing Windows 11 on your computer. To do this, you need to restart your computer and call the boot menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows 11 installation menu opens, click next. Here we click, install now. Here click, I don't have an activation key, and proceed with the installation, next. If you had Windows 10 or Windows 8 Home, choose Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 11 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Next. Here you need to agree to the terms of the license. Next. Here you need to select Windows installation. A window has opened where we can see all the partitions and drives connected to our computer. My computer has only one drive and Windows 10 is installed on it. Drive C with the operating system is on a 144GB partition. We also see here several small partitions for system files that support Windows 10. Drive 0 unallocated space, this is the same drive that I created to install Windows 11. To continue installing the second Windows, you need to click on this disk, and click, Next. The installation of Windows 11 on the computer has begun. The computer will restart several times during the installation process. Please do not turn off your computer. After the reboot, a new menu opened. Here we can choose which windows to download to our computer, and now this menu will appear every time the computer is turned on. The fact is that when installing Windows 11, the installation program found that this computer already had Windows 10, and for the convenience of loading it installed a menu for selecting operating systems. Now using the keys on your keyboard you need to select Windows 11, and press, enter, and the installation process continues. The installation of Windows 11 has begun to complete, and here we see a cascade of appearance updates, a new region selection window, I select the US region and click, yes. Leave the standard layout and click, yes. Click, skip. In this window, you can give a name to your computer, I will do this later. Here it is suggested to choose settings for personal use or for work, I choose personal settings and click. Next. I click, sign in. In this window, as always, it is proposed to add a user. To create a new account, click, create. By clicking here you can enter with a security key. In the latest version of Windows 11, Microsoft removed the option to proceed with the installation with a local account. I'll sign in with my Microsoft account.
Here you need to enter your Microsoft account password. In this window, I choose the settings for the new device. Next. Here I need to create a PIN. In the privacy settings, as usual, I do not uncheck the boxes and click Next. Next. Accept. Here you can select all the ways you plan to use your device, you can skip this and customize them later. Windows 11 welcomes us, there is very little left. Yes, I managed to install a new Windows 11. I hope everything went well for you too. Windows 11 installation completed and a new desktop was loaded. I'll open it, settings. Here we'll see the specification for the new Windows. Yes, in addition to Windows 10, I now have the latest version of Windows 11 Pro installed on my computer. Now I will open, accounts. And here we see that the new Windows 11 is running a Microsoft at Malik account. Now I will restart my computer and go to Windows 10. The system selection menu has opened, and using the keyboard I transfer the boot to Windows 10. And press, enter. And so, the Windows 10 desktop loaded. I open this computer. And in addition to drive C with Windows 10, now we see here the second drive with Windows 11. And this means that I have completed my task, I hope that everything went well for you. This concludes my video review, and I hope what I just said could help you. And if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.